Okay. So, in this video I'd like to talk a little bit about um, the energies of, of lust and greed and or gluttony. And the thing is, for people on the outside, it's always very, very easy to see what the right thing to do is because you have a detached perspective. So it seems logical. Well, for anyone who's not, who gets into these energies, what I call getting hooked into these energies, uh, with, uh, with lust or, or love addiction or codependency, as soon as you are getting a, what, I, what I would call an ego payoff out of what's occurring, um, and you'll know you'll get that because you'll be getting an emotional reaction. So let's say uh, in, a, in a love addiction situation, as soon as you start to find someone attractive and you start to get obsessed and you start to look forward to see the person, then you know you're getting pulled by these addictive energies. Then the more you start to get pulled by these addictive energies, it, uh, you now get uh, being driven by these ego energies. So logic, logic and, and being rational just blows out the window. And in fact, what happens is everything rationalizes you getting more and more payoff or looking to try and get more and more payoff, whether it's to, to, to meet the person more regularly, to get more affection from them, or it could be more sex or whatever it is. But you get driven and then it's, it's like the intellect stops working because you just have to get more and more payoff. You're in this field of ego. So often when people are in love addiction, they can't get out of the situation and their heads are just driving them to get go in. Even when the situations are destructive, they still can't get out. Some, you know, in people with love addiction may become suicidal. And in fact, the same thing happens with greed. This type of thing can happen in uh, gambling, in the stock market. There's a lot of mania now uh, with things like uh, Bitcoin and various other types of cryptocurrencies where there can be a lot of, a lot of greed. Anyone who's been exposed to these markets, if you're in the emotions, um, usually you're going to lose. And what tends to happen is that, uh, for example, if you're making money, now you want now you're getting a payoff, you're getting a thrill out of, oh, I've just made 10,000 last week. So you're waiting for, you know, you're now hooked into that emotion, the greed of making money. So you're, you're looking forward to making even more money by next week. So you're, you're on that, you know, your ego's heavily invested and you're getting a lot of payoff, you're getting a lot of ego juice out of it. So you're making now, the next month you've doubled your money again. Now you're, you're really hooked in with those emotions. Now, usually when there's a crash, it's devastating. And um, you're not going to be ruled by logic. You're going to be hoping that you're going to be wanting to get that thrill of making money again. So you're going to be like waiting to make back your money and then be making more money again. So that's how a lot of people lose. Uh, that's how a lot of people lose both with greed and, and with lust or love addiction. So the thing, how do you how do you not do that? Well, with the you know in the for example, I used to work in the stock market, and I used and also I used to do a lot of research. I used, when I was a young boy, I used to buy all the all the books of all the uh, all the genius stock investors and stock traders, just to learn how they made the, their money. And there was a lot of information on the psychology of it, or Again, what I was talking about, like not being ruled by your emotions, not to have any attachment to what was going on. This kind of cold, detached, um, being able to play the game in a cold, detached manner and yet know what's going on. These people were, were, were quite successful. Also, you noticed as well that they were good at what they did. And um, also, you know, even if they lost a lot of money, it's, they still weren't phased by that. So they weren't getting any kind of juice, any kind of payoff. They weren't getting a thrill out of making the money. So they weren't really 
in a, in a sense, you know, people who are gamblers are in it to make the thrill, to get the payoff, to get that satisfaction when they're making money. But then that puts you vulnerable to wanting to make more money, and that kind of blows you out when you lose money. So you're wired in totally the wrong way to make money. So you tend to always lose money. You tend to stay in while you're making money, and and you tend to when you lose money, you tend to lose more and more money because you don't you want to just stay until you can make more money. So you just wired the wrong way. Whereas the uh, whereas the detached ones are just playing it. You know they have all the information. They intuitively know when to buy, and they also know how to take a loss. And uh, and they're very very scientific about it, and they they're just very cool and calculated. And even if they were, you know, these other type of people, even if they did lose their money in a massive crash, they would still maintain their detachment. It's like they weren't invested in making the money. It was kind of like a detached game. So those are the ones um, who can do it. You also get different ones. You get the corrupt ones, and those are the. The ones, uh, you know, also read the, the books with the corrupt, uh, you know, the corrupt, and they're the ones who would make up all these schemes, uh, but often they would get found out eventually, uh, go to jail. But they'd make a huge amount of money and make a, he, he, uh, by, by conning everyone. But uh, I guess, so you, you've got to have an aptitude. So most people who go into, into the game is to make money, they get a payoff out of the emotions. So they're, they're really... Um, they're really not wired up the right way to be making money out of it. Now, the same thing happens um, uh, with love addiction or with lust. If you're getting payoff out of a situation, uh, then the ego will be getting payoff, so it will want to get more and more payoff. If you're getting a payoff, like you're getting a hit out of meeting a person, you want to continue meeting that person. Or uh, if it's getting affection, you want to continue. It's like a drug supply. So you're, you're getting payoff. So if suddenly uh, th that drug is being cut off for some reason, you'll manipulate things or you'll do things in an irrational manner. Like often people in love, love addiction will do things like if the other person goes off, they'll beg the person to come back or they'll keep taking bad treatment, or the other person will go and have another relationship and yet you'll still be begging them to come back. Or if you lose a relationship, you'll, commit, you'll get suicidal thoughts. So these kinds of things are quite irrational. And you'll have all, uh, lots of other people telling you, like, let the person go, there's a, someone better, and yet you're hooked into those, into those emotions which won't let you go. There's no rationality, there's no detachment. So the thing with... Um, uh, with spiritual work is that you're you're letting these things go. One of the things with spiritual work is you start to get a connection to the source within. So you don't need to feed off getting um, you know get the buzz. You can only make, you're getting the when you're spiritually disconnected you get a huge buzz out of making money. When you're spiritually disconnected you get a huge buzz out of getting affection in a relationship. And then you can become addicted and, and hooked into these things. As soon as you're addi addicted or, or are getting emotional hooks or payoffs out of situation, you become vulnerable. Because now you're hooked in. You want it again and again and again. And when situations aren't going right, you're losing money. Or when in a relationship the other person starts treating you badly, you start behaving irrationally. So you're now, you're now hooked in. So... The stock markets will now start, to, you know, the, the, or the gambling casinos will now strip you of all your money. And, uh, or if you're in a bad relationship, you'll just, it'll get worse and worse. But you'll be addicted to going back again and again and again, even as it's getting worse and worse and worse. So, so hence the thing. Uh, <clears throat> I particularly like um, uh, uh, self inquiry. This, technique I learnt by Muji, which is like going to the observer. If you go to the observer of that which wants to make money, you see, you see a quiet stillness uh, internally. And as you keep going to that, whenever you're making money, then you become detached. It becomes like a non-event, you see. There's no emotions in it. And also you can do the same thing with uh, love addiction, codependency. You just go to that now, 
Why now? A lot of people would ask, why would you do that? Surely you wouldn't get the fun out of making a million pounds in a week, or surely you wouldn't get the fun out of um, you know getting some affection and becoming addicted in relation. Well, the thing is, when you let go of all of this stuff, you get into what I call the eternal now, and the eternal now actually has more happiness than being a, being getting a hit out of anything externally. And actually, it's also one of the best places to see things from a spiritual perspective because you're not being run by getting these hits out of um, out of uh, greed or lust or or love addiction. So you become you're able to you're able to maintain these high levels of spirituality, but not be run by these ego emotions, which come at the lower levels. So by pursuing spirituality, you're still actually uh, you still ha have a level of sanity, and you won't get hooked in. Uh, also, it won't be your life doesn't depend on these things. When people are run by their ego emotions, it's like they sort of see their survival in the projections of having lots of money, or they see their survival as being getting affection from a certain person over and over again. So th then, when these things become bad, they see that they're being cut off from the source of life. That's why they keep trying to go back again and again to try and re-establish. So it's like, if you're making a payoff out of making money, then you're going to be run by, to the extent that you're getting a payoff or you're getting a thrill out of it, you're going to be run by these ego emotions. So you're going to become more and more irrational uh, by it. So or also, if you're getting a payoff from uh, love addiction hits, then if it seems like your supply is going to be cut off, you're going to become irrational. So I often get to speak to people who uh, are unable to get out of situations because they're, they're wired, because they're, they're being run by their ego emotions. So once you get that spiritual connection, you're no longer run by your ego emotion. Also, what, what you find is that this, and this is actually a Course in Miracles lesson, you know, that God is the strength in which I trust meaning actually the source of survival and love and everything going well is actually the connection to source from within. It never was these magical projections. It was never the, oh, you know, my stock has just gone up by 50%. That means I'm going to have a better chance of being happy for the rest of my life. That actually is an illusion. Or, but because you're getting payoff out of it, it seems real. Or if you're getting affection, then it's um, because you're getting, you're feeling deflated and then inflated when you get the affection, then you can become run by these ego emotions. But when you're in these spiritual places, there, there, there's always love and there's always connection and the universe is always providing for you. But it's not like there's a projection externally to try and get a hit or to try and get a, an ego juice, like a, the thrill of having won a bit more money or the thrill of having had been looking forward to something and getting a hit out of um, uh, love addiction. So you don't have to be run by these and in fact life becomes better. So I would say that um, it's when, when you have a strong spiritual connection you know life is, is actually always enjoyable because and as uh, and when you're being run by this money, you're actually in bondage. You know, like uh, uh, people who are gambling in the stock market are just constantly looking to get the next thrill out of making money. They're actually in a, in a, in a form of torment and suffering, always looking for the next thrill of making some more money and making some more money. Like I've written a book, Bulletproof Peace, uh, where, where I write about this in one of my chapters. And it's like, you're in an energy field where there's never enough. You know, you, it would be like, you just made a thousand in the stock market this week, but then it's like, that will only give you a hit for a short while, and then you need to make two thousand. Then when you make two thousand, you get a short hit, but then that's not enough. You need to make three thousand. And it's just, it's just an endless game, and you get, and actually, after a while, it stops being nourishing, you start to go into torment. The same thing can happen with love addiction as well. 
you know, you you want you want you want some affection, then you want even more affection, then you want even more more and more affection, and then that's not enough, and you want even more. Then your partner becomes ratty, and then they dump you, and then you're 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 in pain. So these are the things that happen when you're driven by the ego emotions. So hence, uh, when you start releasing that, when you start aiming not to get a pay, you know, the way I deal with these things is not to get, the, you know, to work on letting go of getting a payoff out of these things, and then getting that connection from within, and then you can enjoy. I mean, you can enjoy investing your money, you can enjoy relationships, but. The truth is, when you're connected to Source, when you're connected to the infinite now, the eternal now, every moment is equally enjoyable, and the universe is the source of security. Uh, so it's like every moment is equally enjoyable. So you wouldn't be like you'd get more joy just because you made a thousand pounds. It would be ridiculous because you're already in joy. So you're not going to get more joy. The, these things then become, uh, you know, you, then you realize the source is actually from within, not from without. So just by projecting, and the Course in Miracles talks about this, like projecting specialness onto things, like specialness, like money is special. It has this, it has a, if I make more money, then this will, this means I'm more, have more love and more security in life. Or if this person gives me affection, then I have more love and more security. Then the survival is projected out, outwards into the specialness. And when you project things outwardly, you get you get a, an ego payoff out of it. So to unhook from that, then you find the source within. Then you're no longer run by these things. And the when you start to find the source within, then you become spiritually intuitive, so that you're able to discern uh, what situations are good or bad, and that happens naturally out of the flow of life, out of being in those spaces. You're intuitively drawn to things, certain things like you won't be intuitively drawn to. Okay.